We? Oh, but one had to be there. Quite frankly, I'm surprised that you would embarrass Ross's son that way. Not that that has anything to do with what we are discussing, but uh, I don't believe that Andrew is Ross's son. Oh. Really? Mm. Ross doesn't lie to me, Cynthia. <laughs> I think I'm in a position to know whether or not Ross lies. <laughs> Cynthia. Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. Ever since you and Andrew have come to Pine Valley, you know I've been over backwards to try and be cordial to you. But you just want to incite trouble, don't you? Well, you want trouble? Fine. You want to be enemies? Fine. But remember something, Cynthia. Two people. Count them. One, two. Can play that game. <laughs> <laughs> don't you have just the most down-to-earth way of putting things? Yeah. And isn't it surprising that Ross would be attracted to one so parochial as you? His women are usually much more sophisticated. Apparently, your type of sophistication wears very thin. Time will tell. It has on you. Well, I suggest you enjoy your time with Ross. Because your days are numbered. Really? Really, Cynthia? <laughs> Have I got a surprise for you, Cynthia? Ross and I are getting married. What? Take a look. Isn't that just lovely? That's my engagement ring. I'm sure Ross never showed this to you. It belonged to his mother. Let's take a break. Hillary? Hillary? Can I talk to you for a minute? Let's see, let's see. let you go. But now I know that we belong together. Oh, I want you now forever. All right. Let's take it again, Ted. Ted, huh. you with us? Yeah, yeah, Tim, I'm sorry. All right, we're going to work on your exit. Okay. Okay. Let's pick it up with Juliet's line, sweet, so would I. And let me feel it. Sweet, so would I. <clears throat> sweet, so would I. That I should kill you with much cherishing. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt, but you, I'm looking for the, the vial for the poison. Are you guys rehearsing with it? No, 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 no. It's got to be in the, no, in the no, prop no, box. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. What the, what the hell is she doing here? Wait, didn't Donnie tell you? She's helping with props. She's what? You have a hell of a lot of nerve pulling this on me. I tried to tell you. What the hell you did? I did, but we wouldn't listen to Come me. on, folks, do your fighting at home. This is a rehearsal. I am trying to rehearse. I was trying until she butted in on the act. I can't act this. We'll try it again tomorrow. Well, what about the vial? Never mind the vial. If it doesn't turn up, we'll get another one. You two study your lines. Come in tomorrow, ready to work. Come on. No. Now. Come on. S see you later. You have got a real talent, you know that? You walk into a room and you empty it. Every time I turn around, you're there. Dad, I've got every right to be in this play as much as you do. You have no right to spy on me. I wasn't spying on well, you. What do you call hanging outside the door and watching it on cue, huh? That's not true, I wasn't. Is that what you're going to do during performance? You're going to run on stage with a prop or something? Every Dad, time you I just, I'm tired of staying at home all by myself. I, I, I just want to be a part of something that you're doing. Put a sock in it, okay? Just give the job to somebody else. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I mean, Tim needs me. 
Well, I don't need you. And I don't want you. It's bad enough I have to look at you at all. Dad, I am going to work on this show. And if you don't like it, that's just tough. Good show, Mama. Touche. You were listening. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for sticking up for me. Don't you ever put me in that position again. Why, Mother? You just did a thorough hatchet job on that woman. I cannot believe that Ross is going to marry that... Trump! I know, some of the guys think she's pretty sexy. But when it comes to class, she's got nothing on you, Mother. He'll never marry her. Well, you're wrong there. Uh, they're getting married tomorrow. Who told you that? Linda. She's got to babysit for the Warner brat. So where are they getting married? Uh, somewhere in New York. And then there's a small reception at Nexus. Nexus, huh? Mother, are those little wheels I hear turning in your pretty little head? Tiny ones, mm-hmm, tiny mm. ones. Ah. <gasps> As a matter of fact, it really is such a coincidence. Do you know that I was planning on spending tomorrow in New York myself? <laughs> New York. Uh, yeah, New York. Yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't do this to us, Mike. I'm not doing anything to you, Erica. You're doing it to yourself. No, Mike, please. Please, look, we, we love each other too much to call it quits. Look, I'm not going to compromise myself for a part of money, and plus, I don't want a wife who's going to spend the rest of her life moping around about all the billions of dollars she gave up. No. Can you blame me for just trying to test the clause before I accepted it? You could have told me! I know, I know, I should have, I'm sorry! But there's a reason why you didn't. I told you the reason no, why no, I no, didn't. No, 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 no. You were weighing up one thing against the other. Me against the power and the glory of controlling Chandler Enterprises. I want you, Mike. Are you sure, Erica? You think very hard, hard before you commit yourself. I have. No more palaces, no more jet planes, no more marble statues. We live on what we can afford with our earnings. Yes, I would have you, I would have you. You're all I want and you're all I need. Where are you going? I'll be in touch. Touch. Erica, I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. But I want you to think long and hard about everything that you're going to be giving up before you come to a decision. I have come to a decision. So sleep on it. I'll be back tomorrow to hear what you've got to say, but I warn you. You choose the money, I'm walking out of your life. You won't see me again. Did you say half bird and half woman? Yeah, that's right. She's the beautiful firebird from a Russian fairy tale. Stravinsky based his ballet score on her. Oh, sounds intense. No, it's really not. It's beautiful. And you have to promise me that you'll go to see this with me, even if you don't like the one tonight. Oh, I have to promise you, huh? Yeah, it's a trade-off, you see. You go to the ballet with me, and uh, I go to the hockey games with you. Well, I'm a vulture for culture, kiddo. Now listen, the real reason I called was uh, a little, uh, little change of plans, if you don't mind. Instead of me picking you up, would you mind um, dropping by here instead? Oh, uh, no. Not if it's more convenient for you. Same time? Yeah, 6 o'clock. Okay. I'll see you then. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi. Are you busy in the dark room or something? No, no, no. I was just in, in kind of a hurry to get my place cleaned up. Oh. Is your mom coming over? My mom. Uh, no, 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 there's no special reason. Come on in. I need to talk to you, Greg. I think Jesse's headed for trouble. 